Hello, good morning, Sabbath greetings. It's just enough light. Give you a clue where I am. Wow, what a privilege, what an honour. Convene with the Lord. And then walk forward, challenge uncertainty and risk the message that I'm given to share as a word for the world. Receive blessing, communion from the Lord, and we can retreat to a place of safety and cogitate about these things. He's still spoken to us. And our choice then, our freedom to choose. Challenge, uncertainty, and risk. The rain clouds are scudding over towards from the, across the bay. Fish, I'm going to give a glory out for you. I can't see that. And yet, the opportunity is to receive from the law and go home. We get back into bed. Sabbath is a day of rest. It's be warm, comfortable. We'll press on. <laughs> oh, can you see? Oh, it's just about there. The stairs drop down into a little valley. The outline of the trees carries on from what you can see. It comes to the headlands, the stand of pines, beautifully silhouetted against the palette blue-grey of the morning light. And just above that, a single star. You can, you can see that much, but it's about there. Challenge, uncertainty, risk. This is <coughs> what we're called to. It's okay if we go home. It's okay if we get back into bed. God's with us in all those things. Our choice. If we would choose it. It's not to to walk forward into the unknown seeking more of what God wants to show us and it won't just be those beautiful vistas although he, he lets you know and he's pleased with you Not that you go into condemnation for going back and being comfortable. I think what he wants, what he'd prefer us to do as a people, as a church, is to seek more of him. Come out of our homes and our shells our, from under our rocks. We once prayed for me, prophesied it over me. <clears throat> the church in Wrexham. To come out into what? Challenge, risk, and uncertainty. Oh, uh, that gives me fear. Well, it wouldn't be challenge, risk, or uncertainty if it was certain, safe, and easy. <laughs> you give it that way. It's common to all of us, to everybody, every believer, from 
the known to the unknown. And there are many unknown believers who have overcome, who have faced challenge, risk and uncertainty, who you'll have never heard of. They don't have to be Augustine or John Chrysostom or <clears throat> John Newton or Billy Graham. Because <clears throat> our place of merit, our place of true notoriety is in the kingdom of heaven. Everyone, every believer, every true Christian will have a story to tell. It's part of the Majesty of heaven. And part of the majesty of heaven is we'll know. Yet we'll still be excited. We'll still have that. Like the question I have for David. Why that stone? Only David could answer it. Why that stone? Why those five stones? Carefully. He crouched down in the riverbed and carefully selected five stones. Wow. <coughs> what was the criteria? I might know, I might guess the answers. But only David knows the answer. I look forward to that conversation. And what's weird, which I've shared before, what's strange. The people in heaven, the saints and apostles that we'll meet. Well know our story too. But they'll still be wanting to ask those questions. Why did you react this way? When you were there, why did you do that? Because it's a celebration. Life in heaven will be an opportunity for eternity to go around and fellowship with every other human being, with every person who has made it through. And then with the angels, what did you do in the great what great war? With God Himself. To ask every question to, 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 to get expected a true and right answer. No guile, no betrayal, no self servitude. It's just that open river of bounty. Forever. How long will it take you to get around however many people are in heaven to have that knowledge and, and, and intimacy with each of them through experience? And then do it again. And again. And again. How, how will we ever tire of that? Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Sandy Beach. Day. Being put to bed. Jesus. What a shame. and filled with the confidence that tomorrow will bring even more
how well the rest. Not that we'll need it. Challenge, uncertainty, risk. Three words in my word. Prayerfully inspired by the word for your life today. A word for the world dot net. So there we are, just a I don't know, half hour later. <laughs> Welcome to the day. A little dodge of a rainstorm a little dodge of a rain, shower. Which <clears throat> looks like there might be one or two more if I keep going. And a little more about that uh, challenge. Uncertainty and risk. You see, if you are that person, if you are going to take those things, if you're going to step forward and step into continued and deeper knowledge of God, how are you going to be received by the people around you? Well, even if they're Christians... If they're taking that choice to stay in their comfort zones, to, to be safe, which is, it, it's okay for them to do that. You can't condemn them for it. That's, God's still with them. They've made their commitment to Christ too. He's forgiven them of their sins. He'll accept them into heaven. <coughs> However, <laughs> warning, they might not well receive someone who wants to continually challenge to seek uncertain you know to move forward in uncertainty and risks if it generates fear for them and they may come into a point where they, they actually oppose it's interesting when they come into opposition there's never an apology from the other side there's never a I don't know a, a sense in a way that, that they're doing anything wrong if you want to take risks or you want to seek challenges, you want to go deeper, that's your choice, not my choice. And they don't see that their, their life starts to become one of rejection. Well, how are we to be in that? How am I to be in that? How are you to be in that if that happens? It's very difficult because, of course, in the past, what I've done is, you know, maybe confronted them in that. Maybe been upset, accepting and unforgiving of their challenges. And what I want to say today is, what I'm learning, and what I pray for, is to be forgiving of that. As I've said, they're not doing anything per se wrong. It's my choice to to go deeper and go further. That's where I am. Have a good time and I pray for you and forgive you. Stood against it. Alright, bye.